I uh, went in the Marine Corps in uh, 1965. When I got out of boot camp, I went to 29 Palms, California, eight inch howitzers. And in February, we loaded aboard ship and went to Vietnam. Uh, I seen an article in a farm show magazine uh, about these pens. A cousin of mine gave me one. There was a guy in uh, Mankato, Minnesota that was making them. Charlie Thompson Freedom Pens. He uh, was making pens in his home shop. His boy was in Iraq and when he got uh, wounded, uh, Charlie made one for his boy that was out of Purple Heart. And, uh, and then a few months later, his boy got killed. And one of the people come and showed him how to make these out of M14 cartridges. He got started with a bunch of volunteers helping him making them and uh, giving them to all vets, just doing it for donations. And he ended up with people in Iraq and Afghanistan, uh, giving them to all the vets that he could find, sometimes in groups of a thousand. So he had a lot of volunteers. He <clears throat> ended up making somewhere around 40,000 of them. But he's been after me for a couple of years to get started on it. I didn't know if I really wanted to, but then I finally broke down and did. But anybody could put them together in a home shop like this or in, on the kitchen table. but. Uh, I would like to see more people doing it, and uh, basically what I'm doing, there, there ain't no way I can do them all. I'm working on my seventh batch now of 100, and I haven't had any trouble getting rid of them, and uh, I get enough donations to uh, buy the next batch and keep going, so that's why I keep doing it. It's not money out of my pocket, it's uh, just something fun to do.